time for today's comedian. This past New Year's, he was featured at Boston's first night. Please welcome Jim Laletta. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. How's everybody doing? Great. This is great. Wow, this is a great crowd. How about this weather this winter, huh? Isn't this great? If this is global warming, I'm all for it. I don't care. Are you kidding me? I have five diesel trucks running at home right now. I want to speed it up. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the Steve's Cat Show show. I, uh, I lost some weight. I lost some weight since yeah. the last time I was here. Thank you. I lost some weight. Actually, I lost five pounds yesterday. Yes, I was uh, circumcised. No, that's, I told you I shouldn't have done that. All right, anyway, but we're all adults. Well, some of us are. All right, anyway, uh, <laughs> the host is laughing. That's all I care about. Look, it, uh, are you comfortable? Yeah, all right, anyway, um, <laughs> it's nice to be here. It's nice to be here in Arlington. I've worked all over the place. You know, I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. I've worked uh, uh, Las Vegas, Atlantic City. I've even worked in Northern Maine, not to throw my success in your faces like that. <laughs> But I have worked in Maine. I did a show in a town called Holton, Maine. Who's, who's, who's heard of Holton, Maine? Why? Why? I did this gig. I never heard of the place. They gave me the directions over the phone. <laughs> That's how old this bit is. They gave me directions over the phone. <laughs> I just realized that. Now it's not like the old guy, right? When I was a boy. Right? What am I going to be like when I'm 80? When, when, I, when I'm 80 years old? How, let me tell you something. When I was your age in the early 80s, we had telephones that never left the house. <laughs> yep, they were either on a table or on a wall and there were wires connected to them. Can you believe that? <laughs> and we had one ringtone, the whole damn world, one ringtone and we were happy with it. <laughs> and if we wanted to talk to somebody who didn't live near us, we had to stay the hell home. <laughs> Oh, and when the phone rang, we answered it. We didn't know who it was. We just picked it up. <laughs> Hello, I don't give a crap who you are. Hello. We had courage. Courage. Anyway, I digress. What the hell did that come from? Anyway, so these are the directions they gave me over the phone. You take uh, 95 North till the end. <laughs> and take a left. Those are the directions. I thought they were joking. I get up there, nine hours it took me to get there from Boston where I live, nine hours. And I get up there and God forgive me, I'm not being judgmental, I'm just here to tell you the truth. And sometimes the truth is ugly and so are those people. <laughs> Ugliest people I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know people came like that. I know I'm not in the lookout. I felt like Fabio when I left, I felt beautiful. I'm looking in the hotel room mirror and go, oh my God, I would do me, get me the hell out of here. If I, if I think I'm hot, we have a problem here. Ugly, nothing was, everything was uneven. Faces, eyes, noses, lips. It's like, what are you people, melting? How the hell, isn't there any symmetry going on up here? <laughs> All right. Is this a field trip from Maine? I, 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 I'm just saying they scared the hell out of me. And now I know why Stephen King lives in Maine. I just think he looks out his window and writes his stuff down. That's what I think. I'm just not impressed with Stephen King. Get your teeth for crying out loud up there. I mean, they had teeth, but none in a row. You know what I mean? They look like jack o -lanterns. It was July, so it threw me off, you know? <laughs> These pumpkins were marinated in vodka for like nine months. They were drunken, evil pumpkin people from hell. It's all right, don't cover your mouth, ma'am. Let it out, let it out. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> she cute. All right, I have a minute. Anyway. I have a minute to show you something. I, I, I have way too much time on my hands, and as a professional comedian, I need to prove it to you, because like the Steve said, you never, heard, you never heard of me either. I've been doing this 23 years. But here's proof that I have way too much time on my hands. This is my GPS. I'm blind, too. Welcome to your 40s, right? All right. You are the weakest link. All right. Anyway, this is my GPS. It's a Magellan. I named her Maggie, and I don't want to brag, but I can make Maggie have an orgasm. Who's your daddy? You are. That's ridiculous. Who thinks of this stuff? She has a good command of the English language. It's actually her second language. Uh, actually, I had to marry her so she could stay here in the country. No kidding. Isn't that right, sweetheart? See. Si. All right. Anyway. Thank you. Now I can write this off. You've been great. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me back. Thank you. <laughs> I told you the joke. I don't know. Thank you, Jim Lawletta. We'll be right back right after this. Yeah.